Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video of my Blu-ray collection. So, um, been out for a while. I haven't made one of these videos in a long time. Been out for a while. Got injured, did some surgery, and I'm out of commission for a while now. But I've been collecting the Blu-rays on the low, not posting any videos. I figured I'm almost racked up a whole shelf, so let me just put put the video out. Um, first we're gonna start off with Hellboy. Haven't watched it yet. It's an animated um film. I think it's based off the um the comic books. If I'm not mis if I'm mistaken, but I think it's based off the comic book that came out a while back. But um picked it up. It was fairly priced. Haven't heard anything good about it, but hey, you know me already, collector. Next one is Peanuts movie. I've been dying to get this movie, but I could not purchase it for the price that they was asking. Luckily for me, it's on sale now, so I had to pick it up. I kind of watched a little bit of it on TV, but it's okay. But I kind of really was interested in this in this in this film, so I had to get on Blu-ray. It's on sale right now, so you guys go ahead and get it. Um, my wife talked about this movie. I haven't watched it yet, though. But she said it's touching, and it's it really teaches you some things. And plus, I like her as an actor. I have like two movies with her in it, and she did. I think she does a pretty good job at acting. So why not? The hate you give. Now this this was just a sporadic moment. I bought this. I just bought it just to buy it, even though I want the the trilogy box set that they have. But, again, the price is not what I'm looking for in these old movies, so I don't pick it up. But this one was on, it's kind of like a rewards program. When you buy, like, two movies, you get one free, so I picked this up for free. Even though I'm honestly not going to open it until I get the the um, the um trilogy box set in 4K. So this is going to stay on the shelf unopened. Might get rid of it when I get the trilogy. Now these two movies, um, High Train Dragon one and two, I had to pick this up because the third one is coming. I haven't watched any of them, but I heard that these things are reference quality animation, and I'm super excited to watch these honestly. But uh, really, the reason why I picked them up was because the third one is coming out, so why not? I'd be really upset if they do bring out a trilogy box set. Because these things will be getting sold instantly if they do have that. But picked up these two movies. Alright, so the next film or the next movie that I have is Stranger Things. This is, I think this is the only movie that I haven't bought in store. This was actually on sale at some, somebody was selling this on, I think it was Craigslist, yeah. But they said they got it from my, um, my mom and pop store. So this was second hand, this was used. And I paid eight bucks for it. It's a Stranger Things 4K. It come in this little VHS. You guys know what a VHS is. Um, booklet. And there's no digital codes or none of that. Even if it was, I don't think I think he would have took it out anyway. So you open it and you get this. You actually get this poster. He said he haven't even he doesn't have a 4K player. He watches the the Blu-ray, so these are the 4K out, out here. And the Blu-rays are right there. I did watch season one, all of them, and they look pretty decent. Season two, I haven't touched yet, but I will one day. I just have too much things to do. <laughs> too much movies to watch, too much games to play. So this is the fir my first purchase that I haven't purchased in a store. And I paid like eight bucks for it. So I'm happy with the buy. My next movie is Overlord. And some of these movies are old. They came out already. But like I said, I haven't posted in a while. Overlord. I had, I watched it. Decent movie. I wouldn't say it's reference, but it's a gold standard. You must pick it up if you want to showcase your 4K because it looks pretty good. And HDR is pretty good on this too. Tell you no lie, this is actually a good looking movie. Wish it was referenced though. Sci-fi zombie Nazi thing. 
Um, Reign of Superman, another sporadic um pickup. Didn't go in much. This was like a really like buy one get one free thing, cause I do buy a lot of movies, so I do get rewards and stuff like that. So my friend, my coworker actually has this on Blu-ray, and he said he liked it, so I picked it up. Why not? Now this movie, this documentary, I think this is the best um, documentary when it comes to like Planet Earth and stuff like that. I think this one is the best one. This looks pure 4K. This looks crisp. 95% of the time. Now this one, this, these, this, this Blu-ray just tells you the life, shows you the life of all these animals right here. And their dynasties, and I think the monkey and um, the wild dogs are my favorite. Man, it really touched me. The monkey really touched me, though. But I leave it to you guys. You guys need to go watch it. This is a must if you want 4K. This looks this looks awesome compared to the other ones. Bohemian Rhapsody. My wife loved this. Ever since she watched this movie, she just keeps looking up friggin' um Queen stuff, Queen this and Queen that. But that was a while back. She don't mess with Queen anymore like that since she, since this movie. But she's been interested in Queen since she watched this movie. And for me, it was an okay movie. I didn't know much about Queen, but it was a decent movie. Um, as in quality. It's not a gold standard or a reference or nothing like that. It's just a regular standard um, 4K transfer. I'm going to start calling my movies regular 4K transfer. That doesn't have nothing, no wow factors or nothing like that. This is, not, this is not a movie with a wow factor in it. And that's about it on the movie. I did enjoy the movie, though. Um, Despicable Me 3, I did not know. You guys should have hit me up. Let me know that I don't have this movie. I didn't even know I didn't have this until I went through my catalog. So I said, you know, I have one, two, and Minions, so why not pick this up? Animated, obviously, but it looks decent. It looks very good. Now, I do have Mike and Dave on, on Blu-ray. I watched it. It looks really good. Really, really, really good. So I'm, I'm expecting good from this, honestly. Very funny movie. If you guys haven't watched this yet... Oh, it tells you right there. Funny. Very funny movie. Very funny. I paid 10 bucks for it. Why not? Speaking of prices, do you, do you guys notice that prices on Blu-rays are going up? Like, some of the movies are like $30. Like, what the hell? Like, $35, man. Um, Next movie is a Fantastic Beast Part 2. I like the first one. Pick the second one up. I honestly think I like the, f the first one better. This is tell about his story, his side of the um story now, but I think I like the first one better, honestly. As in transfer quality, they all look, they both look the same. This one has a little bit more HD HDR pop than the first one, but that's kind of expected with a set with a um sec a sequel to anything. Second one usually looks better because of newer newer cameras and stuff like that. But to me, I think the the storyline of the movie, I think the first one. It really catches my attention more than this one. The second movie I picked up with that movie was Pet Cemetery, and um, I watched it. This thing is crystal clear. It doesn't look like it was shot back in the days. It looks actually clear without the the um digital noise reduction or anything like that. It looks pretty clean for an old movie. Sad. Sad what happens at the end. If you guys haven't watched it, you need to watch this. I'm sure you guys watched it already. But um loved it. Can't wait for the second one that's coming out. Haven't watched it in theaters yet, but I will be getting it on Blu-ray. 